Hello, my name is Dawn Dorman and I'm with DART. I'm here today with my colleague, Hans Michael Ruth, to share with you information about proposed service changes. On April 6, as a result of the pandemic, an emergency weekday schedule was implemented on our bus and rail system. The purpose of the modification was to reduce service levels to better match the demand and to reduce expenses. If adopted by the DART Board of Directors, the proposed changes will be effective October 19th of this year. If you have comments regarding this proposal, you can send them to DART Public Hearing Comments at DART.org. At this time, I'll introduce my colleague, Hans Michael. Hello, and thank you for joining us for our public meetings discussing the fall 2020 service changes we're proposing. For those of you who may not be aware, on April 6, we instituted a system-wide emergency reduction in service in response to the COVID-19 local public health emergency declaration. That reduction in service was a huge change for our customers. And in response, we wanted to assess what had been done, ensure again that our service levels were matching the demand and the ridership we were experiencing. In order to help you understand the different changes we're proposing, we've organized them into four distinct groups. If these changes are adopted by the Board of Directors, they will be implemented on October 19th, 2020. These groups are listed on slide three and include seven core frequent bus routes and the four light rail lines that together would have 20 minute frequency during the weekday. A second group is 25 routes whose ridership is increased enough to cause social distancing concerns. These routes would have their full weekday schedule restored. There's another group of 40 routes that's almost there, but needs to meet some ridership triggers before that restoration is justified. And finally, for a smaller group of routes, we're recommending further reductions, replacements, and in some cases, elimination of service that the public is just not finding useful. For the remaining 48 bus routes in the DART system, we are recommending that the current schedule on the ground today would continue indefinitely. And we'll discuss this in more detail in a map form on the following slides. Slide four depicts a map of the core frequent bus routes that were mentioned on slide three. This group, along with the four light rail lines, would operate at 20 minute service frequency throughout the day until 7 p.m., whereupon it would switch to 30 minute frequency. On slide five, you can see these core frequent routes listed in table form. This improvement is justified based on these routes ridership and activity that we've observed since the April reduction in service. The second group of routes are 25 routes whose ridership is increased enough to cause concern about social distancing and supporting the activity that's come back. For these routes, the full weekday service would be restored. The group of 25 routes is listed in table form on slide seven, along with the corridors and areas that are served by these routes. Slide eight depicts a group of 40 bus routes whose ridership has increased almost to the same level as it was before, and therefore would require the restoration also of full weekday schedules. However, that has not yet happened, so we are monitoring these routes and looking for them to reach a ridership trigger that would justify the restoration of full service. Finally, the next few slides, starting with slide nine, discuss a smaller group of routes for which we are re recommending uh, more significant changes. In some cases, these would be a reduction from their current service, in other cases, these routes would be replaced with on-demand GoLink zones, and in some cases, they would be eliminated or their service would be discontinued permanently. On the right-hand side of slide nine, 
you see Route 585, for whom we are recommending a reduction in the geographic area served to focus on the Hamilton Park neighborhood. If accepted by the DART Board of Directors, this route would no longer serve all the way up to Spring Valley Station. This smaller group of routes is depicted in table form here on slide 10. Routes 385 and 840 in Garland and Irving respectively would be replaced by going zones for the weekdays only. Route 887 in Rowlett is already served by the Rowlett Going Zone and therefore would be discontinued as well. Route 585, as mentioned briefly before on slide 9, would have its service area adjusted to focus on the Hamilton Park neighborhood. That would leave routes 27, 42, 155, 210, and 211 for which we are recommending the discontinuation of service. These routes and the communities they serve today have nearby options that offer similar services that they could use. On slide 11, we show maps of two proposed going zones for replacement of routes 385 in Garland and 840 in Irving. These zones would operate only on weekdays. Slide 12 shows the same zones with routes 385 and 840 overlaid on top. The zones have been designed to accommodate people who could not safely or easily walk to nearby bus service. On slide 13, we show an additional going zone for which we have received outside funding. The funding agreement allows for a two-year operation of this zone as a pilot for Western Carrollton. That zone has been in operation since May on an experimental status, and we're recommending the zone be included in DART service for the remainder of the funding agreement. For the 48 remaining routes in the DART bus system, we're proposing that their current schedules which, is, which have been in operation since April 6, be continued indefinitely. For most of these routes, this means that weekday service continue to operate at their Saturday frequencies. Slide 15 shows a map of these 48 routes. Slide 16 shows the public what the DART staff plan for action is. Currently, we are completing the public meetings and public hearing phase of this plan. And once your comments are received and responded to, we will forward that all to the Board of Directors for their consideration. If these proposals are adopted by the Board of Directors, the goal for implementation is October 19th, 2020. Finally, on slide 17, let me take a moment to invite you to participate in a major reconsideration of the principles behind our bus network coverage. This effort is called the DART Zoom Bus Network Redesign, and our goal is to implement changes by 2022. These changes would be based on the DART Board of Directors decision to balance the coverage of the bus network with the frequency of the bus network. This is an important decision and you can learn more about it and take a survey to help direct it at the links included on slide 17 and by visiting the website www.dartzoom.org. Please consider taking some time to learn more about this important effort and participate. You could not only benefit future generations of DART bus customers, but you could also win a $100 GoPass tap card for your own use. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your attention, and we look forward to receiving, reading, and responding to all of your comments on the Fall 2020 Service Change Proposals. Thank you, Hans Michael, for that information. 
and thank you for joining us to learn more about our proposed service changes. The virtual public hearing will be held on August 11th at 6.30 p.m. To make comments to the DART Board of Directors, they must be emailed to DART Public Hearing Comments at DART.org prior to the conclusion of the hearing. This concludes our presentation. If you'd like more information, please visit us at DART.org.